Okay, today I'm gonna to be sharing about the curriculum that I'm gonna be using in my homeschool this upcoming year. I have my first grader, who I call Ladybug, on the blog here with me. Do you wanna wave and say hi? hi? This is Ladybug. She is now my fourth first grader that we've homeschooled. And so over the years, our curriculum has changed a little bit. We've found some things we really enjoy. So since I've been blogging about it over this past month, I thought we would make some videos and kind of show you what we plan to use. So our first subject is Bible. And one of the things that I've been using every year for several years is Bible study guide for all ages. And I actually don't have that one here with me. It's on order, but we have cycled through the entire Bible once already, and we're on our second cycle. And my kids use the beginner pages and they color those and we read the, um, it has kind of a summary of the Bible verses. So we read those together. And then my older kids work on the intermediate pages. So this year, Ladybug is gonna participate and listen to the summaries and hear the Bible stories and color the pages. So that's one thing we'll do all together for our school. And then individually, we have, do you wanna hold it? This is a book called God's Names. And we're gonna be reading through that together, talking about the different names of God that are found throughout scripture. So that's something we'll kind of do one-on-one -on -one in our time at the beginning of our school time together. Each day we'll read about a different name. Okay, so our next subject is math. Do you wanna hold it up? Ladybug started Right Start Level A last year in kindergarten and she's gonna be continuing with that. This is the first edition. I've been using Right Start for a long time and so I still have all of the first edition books. You can see mine is a little beat up but she will be finishing level A at some point and then moving into level B. And then another thing that we'll be using is Math Mammoth. And I got that on sale several years ago and I just print off a bunch of pages and my kids do a page a day. And so that's something we'll be working on together just for some additional practice. Okay, for grammar, you wanna get your grammar out? This is our first year adding any grammar into our homeschool. In kindergarten, we don't work on any grammar. We just work on reading. And so we will be adding first language lessons into our homeschool and starting to learn about nouns and verbs and the different parts of speech. So I find that this book is a really good gentle introduction to grammar. It's not too overwhelming. It's pretty simple and it doesn't take a lot of time each day. So we only do grammar about three days a week because there aren't very many lessons in this book. I think there's about a hundred lessons. So that'll be her first year doing grammar. She looks really excited. And then another new thing we're adding is spelling. So last year in kindergarten, we focused more on reading. And this year we're gonna be adding in some spelling now that she has made a lot of reading progress. So we will work through all about spelling and we will start with level one. And we might even do this level twice just for extra practice and reinforcement as she's still working on her reading skills. So we will start that this year. And that kind of also lets you know what we're using for reading. She is finishing up all about reading level one and she's gonna be starting level two. So I have the readers that go along with that level. My kids really enjoy the stories in here. They're great practice. And then we have, here's the teacher's guide. And I have our reading cards in our box here for us to review the different words and phonograms. So I really have found that this program works well for all of my kids, even though they're different types of learners. Some are just strong in reading and some are not, and it has worked for all of them. So I continue to use this program. It's probably one of my favorite homeschool programs. Okay, what else are we doing? Poetry. So one fun thing that I add in every year are poetry books. And I've done this with all of my kids from the time that they are in preschool. And we always start our day reading a few poems together. We don't really analyze them or discuss them too much. We just enjoy reading the poetry and kind of starting our day together. So one of the books we're gonna use right here, The Rooster Crows. These are American rhymes and jingles, uh, kind of nursery rhymes, things that are pretty familiar. And then here's another book, I wanna train me. This is It's Raining Pigs and Noodles. And uh, this is by one of our favorite poets. I have several of his books. These are some really fun and silly and kind of crazy poems. Um, we've really enjoyed this one. So we'll start our day reading a poem or two together out of one of those books. And you wanna get your handwriting book? 
I teach all of my kids handwriting using just a lined whiteboard, but then they practice in these pen time books. They're really inexpensive and they're pretty plain. They just have black and white pages with a few simple illustrations. My kids like to color those. They're pretty simple and easy. So every day my kids do a page or two in their pen time books just to practice their handwriting. Okay, ooh, our logic books. We have a big stack. Another thing that I have been doing every year is doing logic with my kids. We do some fun informal logic books from the time that they're in uh, preschool and kindergarten. And just each year we add a few different ones and they work on these. Um, in the beginning, I work on them with them. I help them through each of the logic grids and the puzzles. And as they get older, they're able to complete them independently. So here's a few we're going to use for first grade. This is Mindbenders Book 2 from the Critical Thinking Company. Here is Lollipop Logic 3 from Proof Rock Press. That's probably one of our favorite logic publishers. We did uh, Lollipop Logic 1 and 2 last year. And then this is Math Analogies, book one, also from the Critical Thinking Company. Here is, you wanna hold that one? Analogies for Beginners and Logic Safari. And those are both Proof Rock uh, publications. So those are some really fun logic books. We'll work on them together. My kids really enjoy the ones that look like this, that have the logic grids where they can fill in um, those grids as they work through the logic problems. Okay, let's get Spanish. Um, Ladybug worked a little bit on Spanish last year with us. We use Song School Spanish. I'll hold it. And this year we're just gonna kind of redo that. Her preschool sister will probably listen in and do it a little bit with us. They enjoy watching the videos and working on the songs. So even though she participated last year with her older siblings, we're gonna redo it and just keep working on our Spanish vocabulary. So we'll work on that together and all of us will kind of practice the songs together. And history. I really changed things up for history this year. And instead of continuing in our four year cycle, we are going to do American history only. So I'm going to combine all, most of my kids, about three of them, my first grader, my third grader, and my fourth grader in America's Story. And this is from Master Books, and it's a brand new book. It's a living history book, very Charlotte Mason based. Can you hold it open? Has lots of great pictures. It has breaks for narration. It is a really beautiful book and has a lot of great stories. Um, there are three in the series. So we're gonna do America's Story 1. I don't know how long it will take us. We might spend the entire year on this one or we might go ahead and jump into book two um, after Christmas. We'll kind of see how that goes. But that is something brand new that we're gonna try this year. Then science, right here, we're going to be working on biology and reading this book. This is Real Science for Kids. And this is the biology book. It actually says grades five through eight, but I don't find their grade levels to be super accurate. Um, I don't find them to be too challenging. So she's gonna listen in to our biology lessons with her uh, third and fourth grade siblings, and I will get a lot of great books, more picture books, more on her level about biology topics that she can read with us. So that'll be just kind of a fun thing that she does with us. I don't worry too much about science in the very younger levels. We just do a lot of reading and some fun hands-on experiments. And then we also have geography. This is something we do together as a group. Last year we worked to draw Africa. We learned about the different countries in Africa. And this year, because we're doing American history, we are going to do Draw the USA and learn about the different states and capitals. And I hope to find some fun videos uh, travel videos and information videos about the different states so we can learn about them as we draw them. And then our last thing is right here, art. So I'll admit I'm not great at getting to art in our homeschool. I kind of forget about it. And my kids don't really seem to mind too much if we forget. But uh, we've been using Artistic Pursuits and this is book two. And we used a little bit of book one last year. So I'm hoping this year to be able to do some of the projects in this book. So that's something we'll do all together as a group, maybe just on Fridays uh, when we have some extra time. So I think that's most of it. That's our curriculum for first grade. 
A lot of it will be done as a group, our history, our geography, science, art. Uh, she'll be doing those with her older siblings. But uh, a lot of things she'll be really doing individually. We're kind of adding some more with adding in spelling and um, doing some more logic books and things like that. So thanks for watching. Have a good school year.